Okay, so welcome to Marathon Death World Spider Drop Ascent episode 43. In between, I did some stuff. Um, all the handcrafting is finished, and we've now got a set of armor with lots of power and lots of speed because speed is life, and, and a couple of shields because that's helpful. And, you know, still the old level 1 rubber portals. Okay, never mind. That attack happened quickly, and I dealt with it. Um, research finished, so let's. What do I actually need? Like, I still want to do the damage checks because yellow science isn't online. Worker speed? I mean, that's gonna be helpful, but I think making things explode is gonna be more immediately helpful for what we've got to do now. Um, put another bad train together. So this is this is kind of signaled so that these these two bits of track can share the inputs and outputs. Um, maybe I'll even put bad crafting here. Um, and we've got a bunch of stuff that we're going to take out to build an outpost and kill a bunch of stuff. And then also a little request chest here so I can I can decide that I want to be receiving stuff and the logistics bots just bring it to me, which is nice. Um, so yeah, now it's now it's time to. I think these are still. These are still upgrading because no green chips. Because oh this one. So this side doesn't have copper, but it's still got the green chips, and then the green chips are still just slow because. Yeah, because I need to put more trains on copper. That's kind of what I was going to do anyway. Um, so let's leave this train here and wander out to. Actually, let's go here first. Okay, that was signals doing what it was supposed to. There was another train just in front of me. Um, yeah, let's wander over here and see how these personal defense lasers work, because they're pretty good. It's been a while since I've done anything with them, because I've been doing a lot of wave defense, and then this run took quite a while to get to this point. Uh, but basically, you just run up to them, and your lasers go, Hi, dudes, and... This is also why we have legs for speed, because being able to dodge the spit is vastly more useful than being able to, you know, take multiple hits. Because it also slows you down, and then you're just unhappy about a lot of things. Um, still have... yeah, the rope, worker robot speed would have been useful, wouldn't it? Do I actually need to clean these things up now? Probably not. I could do it with more bots and better things, but never mind. Um, okay, so that's, that's how that works, and now we're coming up here to do a bunch of combat stuff. We've got to deal with this guy. We're actually going to need a lot of landfill for this, aren't we? I probably don't have that much landfill on me or in the train. Um, am I putting a station here? Maybe. Um, and then we've got to figure out what to do about this. Um, and behemoths are spawning at some small rate, so that's going to be fun as well. Although that being said, I do basically have the full end game personal armor set. Like there's the only thing beyond the setup in the game is personal robot port two, which does does nothing in terms of combat stuff, um, and then things like I don't even know. Does the Spidertron have a larger grid? I have not researched it yet. It's going to be down here. Um, does it say equipment grid size 10 by 6? Okay. This is equipment grid size 10 by 10. Okay, so this has actually got more of the stuff in it than the Spidertron. Fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty well equipped, or at least should be. Um, let's. Do I call the other train now? Maze. Mm, whatever. I'll leave it there for it. Let's see how. Does. Can I do. Yeah, that actually works pretty well, doesn't it? Um, it's not going to be viable to do this all the way over here, though. The thing is... I didn't actually bring laser turrets with me. Okay, um, in that case, we are calling this train. This train it gets to come all the way up here. Um, and I'm pretty sure I signaled... Yeah, there are two signals on that. Um, so this guy probably wants to move forward a bit. Um, and I should... Yeah, I, I think I built this, built the rest of this in between episodes, because that wasn't super interesting either, but we've got a bit of a rail spine coming up here. 
so that's nice um, yeah because when I connect this land bridge this will now be a land bridge that leads into the base that is not particularly the defended so let's it's just gonna be a lot more than I need isn't it um, So let's, I guess, do some quick, nasty defensive work, except it's also kind of not wide enough for the number of lasers I wanted. Um, yeah, I'm going to need more landfill for the rest of the station, but whatever. Uh, okay. I think I decided... Actually, not all needs to be that big, did it? Like this isn't a defensive structure I'm planning on having exist for a while. It's just to say if anyone gets through here, they're going to have a bad time. Okay. Um, why do I have? Why do I have so many construction pots on me? I don't need. Is it because they just didn't fit anywhere else? That's quite possibly a thing. Uh, yeah, they kind of don't have space, do they? Um, I will not need these or these. I won't actually need the rubber ports either. Um, my rubber port is off. That's fine. Okay. Let's make a mess. Okay. I actually needed more landfill than that. Going backwards and forwards. Great idea. Um, I'm going to need all of it, aren't I? And it's. Like I'm not planning on dying, but there's still a bit of me that that says, "Hey, let's let's be at least slightly concerned with what I have on me if I go into combat." Oh yeah, there was a worm there. There's no longer a worm there. Um. So yeah, the plan was to establish like a laser wall and some mines and stuff like that, but also just throwing these things out was pretty effective. So can I even do this and not worry about it? And the answer might be maybe, especially as I have these as well. Um, so yeah, we might be in quite a good place. Like this is not going to work for the large bases. Um, but this is this is working pretty well. Okay, so that's that's some of the territory claimed. Um, yeah, so it might actually be viable to push out these things and have this wall, like here with a little thing, whatever. Um, yeah, we are we are well past the nuclear trough, aren't we? We've got all the ticks we might need. able to do a lot of damage quite quickly. Um, um, can I actually... How fast you guys are going to be doing this? And then some of them are missing. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, because I want a little defensive structure to fall back to, because we're going to be doing a lot of this kind of stuff. And like, the energy on my power grid is basically free. Um, this one and these two probably don't need to exist and we can just put them there. Um, yeah. Like, it's still possible that I can get surrounded and overwhelmed, and that would be unpleasant. But one of the reasons why we have the legs is to not have to worry about that. And, yeah, the explosive rockets have an AOE thing, which is doing work, so that's nice. And 
We're like a large chunk through X auto save. Um yeah, a large chunk through the first of these bases. Which is nice. Oh there's a, there's a behemoth. There was a behemoth. Um yeah, the the behemoth spitters still don't actually have any armor, so they kinda of die a little bit easily. But they still do a ton of damage. Yeah, and we're we're in a part of the game where we are prioritizing nest kills again because the bite is coming out are the things that are actually a problem. And also the worms we can do stuff like that. And then everyone here gets to enjoy fire. Yeah, there's also a bit of a game where it's kind of tricky to see cliffs, which can also be a problem. Uh, rockets. Okay, more rockets. Um, I think I need to move up that laser wall, don't I? I think that's going to be the next thing to do. For variety, we can set some things on fire, and that's fine. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. So yeah, this suit of armor is pretty strong. I'm in a pretty good place. Having, having, I think I have all the laser damage except six, don't I? I think we'll check when. I think when that explosives research finishes, we'll check. Um, I actually wanted more laser turrets, and I know I have a lot of laser turrets. Um, because I wanted to... Carve a couple of these up here. Actually. This one doesn't need to exist anymore. But I have like one here. Uh, do I even need the lasers here? Maybe, maybe not. Because um, I've actually got a bit to go, don't I? Like we did. Here we go. Uh, do I have flamethrower out? I do have flamethrower out. Oh no, my bots. Yeah, those bath moths are, are pretty robust. Um, but that should be fine. We've now got a nice little defensive wall to fall back to. And the other fantastic thing about the explosive rockets is that any biters that are running at us through the base as our rockets are arriving also get hit by the AoE. So that's that's a nice place. Yeah, they all died. Down here is also a thing. Is that going to be enough to get rid of... It is enough to get rid of all the nests, so that's cool. Yeah, this is going quite well. Put some of those, these guys down. Uh, that little wall is taking care of itself quite nicely. That's not the gun I wanted. Maybe it was the gun I wanted. I should probably deal with these guys. Um, yes, yeah, that's nice. Um, I am in single player, so this is actually a pause. Um, yeah, I've got I've got all the laser damage up to laser damage six, so that's why that's going so well. Um, I'm doing a lot of work with the rocket launcher, so I guess we're going to continue the explosives research. Um, I'm not even using the landmines yet. I think yeah, I don't think there are any more. Is that is that an expansion? Did that go down just now? Death worlds, eh? I mean. This is pretty Death World, but it's not named Death World because I die a lot. Hopefully that doesn't jinx it. It could always quite easily jinx it. But yeah, moving moving side to side a bunch, avoiding the spitters, using a lot of rockets to kill a lot of nests, and yeah, we're like we're like a decent chunk of the way through the base. I said was going to be a big issue, so. I mean, it kind of is, like, this is requiring effort, but also it's kind of fine. Um, how's my... Is that everything that's done down here? Kind of is. These guys are doing a thing. Okay, time to move up the defensive walls, I think. Yeah, it's got here and here. Kindly do that, guys. 
Is someone shooting at me? Someone is shooting at me. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with this first, I guess. Disappointment. I lost, I lost three bots and whatever they were carrying, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I can absolutely afford that at this point, but it's still a bit sad. Although, if I'm taking out these huge bases and securing this copper, and the only thing I lose is, like, three robots, I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, I haven't even put walls around these. They're just, they're just straight running up, and I'm DPSing them down, so... I'm kind of happy with the way this is working out. And also part of the point is I'm always in front of this, so I always have their attention and they're always shooting at me over the turrets. Um, but we're actually kind of nearly kind of nearly done here, I guess. Running through the slime. Taken out the nests. Personal defense lasers doing work. And yeah, we might be done here. Um, there's another base. Do I want to take out that base out? I probably. I probably do. Where am I putting the perimeter? Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice to have quickly moved from. Is this going to be a challenge to secure this area to where am I putting the perimeter? And I think the perimeter is going to go here, based on the shape of the terrain, but I'm probably going to kick it up a bit. Um, do these guys... how much space is there compared to... So maybe do you need to take a couple of those out. Let's have a look at this attack. It died. Cool. Um, yeah, let's do... Let's add laser turrets, because then we can get rid of this stuff. Do, how many bots do I have on me at the moment? Because I lost three. I probably don't even have a full workforce of bots right now. I've got eight. That's a little bit suboptimal. Um, but we'll also be fine. Do I want to? I mean, I also definitely want to clear out. Definitely will be clearing out the, those biters that are around the. around the oil. I definitely want that oil. Um, the other thing is, can I start setting up the mining patches first? And I think that that, that just happens so quickly that I don't think I'm going to bother. Um, Behemoth worms. Yeah, this is an expansion. Um, they still die pretty quickly though, like that's fine. Am I, am I apparently doing this without laser turret support? Let's see if that works. I mean it did previously. And like, stuff like that is just, you know, that's fine. I don't know if I take poison damage while being in the armor or not. Like, you don't take poison damage from your own poison clouds while you're in vehicles. Um, but I... And it would, like, make sense for power armor to be hermetically sealed stuff. But I don't know if it actually is. Oh, not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. Um, yeah, we are definitely in the space where I might die just because I'm complacent. That, that's definitely how these power levels are working out at the moment. Um, yeah, because that's that done. Um, I don't think I brought pump jacks. Was I expecting it to not be this easy? Um, and I think I'm just bringing stuff here by hand, aren't I? I think. Didn't even put a radar down, didn't even leave lasers there, whatever. Um, this is still, you know, I'm not particularly concerned about the base being in trouble. Um, what did I want? I wanted, I guess, a piece of wall. I don't think this is a particularly good piece of wall because it's not very long and also because I think some of those spots there were 
struggling to connect all the lasers to the power grid, but whatever. Um, let's take like this chunk of wall and wander back over here and figure out where it's going to go and then start setting that up. And I think it was actually... didn't actually want to aggro those guys. Um, fortunately, I did not. Yeah, like here. Because this will give me... If I put it here, this little bit of overhang here. Yeah. So first of all, this this bit where it comes in means I'll be intercepting all the biters here. This little bit of overhang on this side means that when they arrive here, I've got a lot of firepower that can access that point. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah. And then I've got to go. I don't actually have to go up much. Does this tile at all? Was I just terrible about stuff? I was pretty terrible about stuff, wasn't I? Like, that one's not too bad, but it's also not where we want to be. Um, I should probably... get my dudes building this first, so I don't have to worry about... you know, more biters coming in. Um, isn't that going to give me enough space? Yeah, let's just build that wall across there. That's going to give me a ton of space. Uh, how much landfill do I have? Because we have to landfill around this side a little bit so we can get miners on it. And then we have to landfill this side a bunch because there's going to be a train station here. Um, that's all the landfill I had there, but that's okay. I've also got a lot of repair packs that I kind of don't need yet. Uh, but yeah, what do I need? I need these guys. I need... I probably don't need more of the lasers. I'm going to take some of the lasers. Uh, these things. I will need these things. I will need a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I've already got a bunch of repair packs. I probably don't need... Okay, so I, I hope I have everything on me that I need to build that wall because this is the stuff that I have. And then, like this temporary power connection... Like this will almost certainly not how not be how I'm connecting the wall to the grid, but this will do enough for me to be able to build the thing. Um, yeah, so we want to go like rubber port, whatever. Connect that there. Um, give these guys a box. Give that all the things they might need. Oh, you know what else I don't have? Um, I don't actually have. Like, the flamethrowers are kind of useless until I bring a truck up here with... Yeah, I need... I kind of need for the flamethrowers to be helpful. I could use a screwed oil. I think I still... I still think I want to take the crude oil back to this bit of the base to bolster the oil supply because that's pretty trash, and then continue to use light oil for these flamethrowers. I think that's... so yeah, so I still do need to have a couple more trains up here. That's fine. Uh, I want radar, like, whatever. One of these guys, like, here. And let's do this. Uh, is that going to be? Yeah, there's going to be the coverage I need. Great. Okay, so this is actually... And um, this is actually this wall really close to... Because like, all that's going to go down, it's going to build the walls, that's going to be fine. Cliff explosives, doing a thing. Um, now I need to figure out... Are we just going straight through that? I could also... Could I bring it down here? Is that more viable? Maybe do I like that? I mean, I've still got to do. I've still got to do a bit of a diagonal thing. At least a little. And I am aware that I still don't have lasers there either, so that's also a thing. Because that's actually more diagonal section than I need, isn't it? Um, we'll need that. We'll need this. We'll need this, we'll need 
that um, I may as well have oh, there's probably no robots free either okay is this going to be up here? do I need these? you know what I should have been using this cliff that's a really good point um, okay let's grab all of this and move it back slightly so that it intersects that cliff and then not cliff explosive that cliff okay um, that needs to be there do I need I probably need I mean for a start I need that then I probably need a couple more I mean this is a bit of a mess but whatever Um, yeah, stuff stuff like this with just like lasers not being powered, and then stuff like this with lasers not being powered, and you know things that make pl factorial players unhappy. Um, do you have everything you need though? Do you have you still have power poles? You still have laser turrets? You still have a lot of walls? So that's all looking like it's going to be fine. Um, then. Yeah, here's actually a reasonably decent spot just to, to run the entire thing across, so that might be what we're doing. 3% uh, bad moths. 0.91 evolution. Cool. Uh, you know, all of... You know what? Let's grab... Let's grab all of that, including all the radar on one end. Um, yeah, this is... I don't even think I'm connecting the oil now. I think I'm only connecting the oil later uh, but don't do that and then also these probably won't need to be here I'll need power there through there eventually um, was that a bot or a wall? a piece of wall is destroyed you guys are getting on it fast, good work Was that an expansion party? That in fact was an expansion party because there's no pollution there at all. Okay, good stuff. Uh, I don't need that bit, but also please don't destroy the wall. Um, yeah, because I'm going to need a bit more flamethrower coverage like here, I guess. So let's do that. These diagonal sections are kind of annoying. Because because the flamethrowers are kind of configured in like vertical or horizontal arcs and not really for diagonal arcs, but whatever. Um is this where I'm happy having the provide? I'd pro pro probably have it here if I had a choice about it. Um, the other thing we're going to do, because I've got a lot of poison grenades left, is kind of get rid of the stuff that I might accidentally set on fire. Uh, because I'd still rather not actually set that on fire. And a bunch of these things are complaining they don't have power. Do I need to put more power poles somewhere? Probably yes. Okay, so that's that done. Yeah, it's a good reason to be, do to be doing this with bots. Doing this manually is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, these trees could burn, these trees could burn. These... Okay, I do actually need to take out... Um. Actually, I'll have five tiles of wall that will eventually go in here, so I think I'm fine with, even if these trees are outside the wall and burn, they won't burn down the forest inside, so that's cool. Um, you know, not burning down forests is preferable. I can line those things up kind of like that.
and we're nearly all the way there. And I think this is actually a point. Like, I think I'm just gonna go like, bleh. That's actually significantly more than I need, isn't it? Let's not be quite that careless. Let's just go. Bleh. And the other thing I could do is I could also build it up this way and just have more defenses here, but I don't think either of those matter. Um, is this... Am I worried about the range of this gun? I'm kind of concerned about... Okay, so... Let's move it over there. Because actually, we don't want to give it to those either. Uh, they can stay, um, and these guys can stay. But yeah, part of it's about making sure that your laser turrets are powered, because that's important. Where are these things not getting powered? There, yeah. Things I could have done with actual wall blueprints, but did not. Okay, um, so that's that's kind of all getting made. Did I have radars in these places? I did. Did I have radars in this box? No. Okay, um, he might also need some more lasers, so let's go do that as well. Probably need lasers on the corner. Um, I'm not actually ex anticipating taking a lot of attacks there, because it's not... Like, these guys... Yeah, maybe if, if they're attacking this pollution, anything coming around here will arrive there. These guys will come probably straight down to this, but that'll probably be fine. Um, so I need a lot more landfill, because basically this is all going to be landfill. And, like, based on how easily that section was cleared out, is that more copper? That's even, yeah, even less worth doing anything about. Um, securing this thing actually seems pretty viable. Like, these bases are all separately smaller than the base that used to be here. And then the question is, how do I connect that rail? And it might be rail through here. Just like a lot of landfill. Which is fine, I've got a lot of landfill. I'm stationed here. In which case, this thing is kind of an intersection. Um, did I have... I gave my bots to the thing, but I've got more bots... Did I put more bots here? I did not put more bots here. Okay, fine. Did I put more landfill here? No. Okay, fine. Um, okay. I guess we set up some of the stuff, but then without the bots, there's kind of only a small amount we can do about it. Did I... I was also looking for more landfill. Did I bring more landfill? This is the extent of the landfill that I put? Okay, so we're going to go back. And we're going to find, we need yeah, a chunk of landfill. We need, yeah, because I can do this and go like, have some of these, have some of these, have some of the stuff that you like to build mining facilities with. Um, more explosives damage. Let's get the fire damage, because I've kind of done the explosive damage I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to grab a mining outpost. I don't like that one. Yeah, grab a chunk of a mining outpost. How much of this do I actually need? You know, say that much. And you know, do do that, and now I've got mines on this thing. Some of these are going to be pretty bad. And yeah, now I just need the bots. And more landfill. Okay, fine. Uh, how are these guys still just working away at their stuff, what do they not have? They not have radars, they do not have... 
they've, they've run out of walls. They have in fact run out of walls and laser toads, it looks like, and I'm pretty sure I have both of those things. Okay. Uh, not repair packs, walls, laser turrets. Let's give them the rest of these as well. I will need the stack inserters soon. Laser turrets. Is this... Okay, no, there's, there's a lot of landmines that I ended up not using. That's okay. Um, yeah, blegs are fast. Blegs are pleasantly fast. And two fusion cores means my battery is just completely fine with this stuff. Um, let's put another of these chests up here. Like, here seems a decent spot for it. And it can have the new walls, the lasers. What else did you guys want? I think that's, I mean, that may be some big power poles. Looks like you're just getting a little, getting stuff done now. Did you not have? Did I put a radar up here at all? Okay, that could go there, and now that wall should end up getting like fully built. And I'll need like train stations and oil and stuff like that, and that will probably go here. In fact, do I have? Like this here is a train station that kind of does fluids and has two stations, and so I'll use one for oil and yeah, one one for crude oil. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so that'll be... How am I going to lay this out? Am I concerned about having parking? I'm kind of still not concerned about having parking at all, am I? Um, then, yeah, I think I just need to go and get the rest of the landfill and get this all building. Then I can put some train station stuff there. Um, do I have... If I put all... I'm not going to need the landmines, and that should mean that I have... Actually. Yeah, because I can't just put the engine on the other side of the train, because the track is still one way. Um, but what I am going to do is... Give this bot network um, some rail and some stations and some chain and some signals and the other one already has the power poles but whatever um, can I find no because it's these guys I want these robots give me the robots just pull the robots out of the air how many do I have 10 23 um, basically I wanted just a couple to move to this network to start building that stuff and yet yeah, then I need to come back with all the other things I need um, and there's a decent chance I just forget that that box of landmines is there as well which is pretty funny because it's a kind of high value box there's a lot of useful stuff in that so let's go back here and how are we going? how is this going? Have I run out of wall? Have I run out of RoboPort range? I've run out of RoboPort range. Um, that should be RoboPort range. Do I want another radar, radar there? Uh, there'd be one here as opposed to one here. I think I'm okay with the radar range I have. Okay. things I needed were landfill and 
Was it just landfill? I think I had almost everything else. I needed to be doing the rest of the train stuff. I think I've still... I don't actually have tanks on me. Interesting. Um, yeah. Let's go and see if I have tanks in storage. And the answer to that is... No. Okay, so... Can't insert iron plate? Of course not. Um, because I'm carrying all of that. And now we want twenty five, sure. Okay, take all this stuff back up here. How is how is this how's this bit doing? Yeah, that's completely fine. Um how's the solar doing? I've got about 700 left, and I think I've... Yeah, these have extended to the extent that I've got range cat. So I actually need to take out, like, these two. And... These two. And I'm also at the end of radar range, so let's also take out that one. Then I should be able to put a radar... Like so. And... That was badly done. Why? There. Dislike. Okay, fine. Um, that one needs to go then. Is that the same on this side? It's going to be the same on this side, isn't it? Um, that's not the copy paste I wanted. It was this one that it's going to go like here. There. That's a better place for it. And yeah. Okay. Doing the landfill things. How much of this landfill do I want? I mean, I'm making more, but... So that's going to go... Yeah, I'm going to run that down that way. And I think I want pretty much... All of this. Glad I didn't run out of that. Okay, nice. Um... Did I? Oh, I didn't bring more bots with me. That was the other thing I wanted. I wanted to be able to alt all of that stuff. Um, these guys are, however, done. So that's nice, which means I can actually alt all of that stuff. And while you guys are doing that, I'm actually faster than you now, but, you know, sure. Um, let's find... Where's the train station that I want to copy? That one? Not really. This one? If I reverse that one, it's kind of the wrong way. Does that mean that the one over here is the one I want? It kind of is, isn't it? This, this thing here... ...is basically exactly what I want to go, like, here. Kind of. I'd still prefer... Would I still prefer? I don't think I. I don't think I need to, do I? Um, because the thing I think about is, okay, I still need more space over here. That's that's how it works. Um, the first things I want are. Where's where's my, okay? My go-to intersection is like down here, isn't it? Oh, this much of this. And I want one over here first. Okay, and these tracks are different sizes. Of course they are. Sounds exactly like the sort of thing I do. Um, get rid of all of this. And somewhere in here, there's another signal as well. Um, start with the, with this bit. So I want this to be... I want basically two intersections next to each other. Which is not necessarily a good idea, and that looks like it's going to have to be even further back. Um, so let's start with the one that's going to be... Does the... That actually needs to be there. Huh. Um, yeah, so that one then wants a train station on top of it. I 
and they're actually taking destroyed buildings now, which is a thing that should probably be less surprising in a death world. Can I make this... F I mean, I'm not worried about the power poles yet, I'm just worried about making the... Yeah, making these connections to these... Um, that's almost certainly yes, isn't it? Because this... It could actually be two squares further down. Okay. Um, let's actually do this the other way around. This... This line will serve no value ever. Because, like, there's there's no world where I'm building processing facilities over here. Or this, this entire train spine is just going back this way. Okay. So, that's where that can go. And then, this one goes here, apparently. Sure. That's enough space. Um, I won't need that. That can go there. Um, this this continues like so. Um, I kind of wasn't expecting to have like another copper mine online, like this episode. And we might. It feels like we might be kind of close. Um, landmines. Can I pick up the landmines? No is the answer to that. Uh, okay. Because the thing is, now we've got that kind of one... Oh, because I gave the train stations to... Yeah, I gave the train sta stations to a different thing. Um, okay. Actually, turn off my bots. Give you all of the rail and the bots and just have you do that for me and then actually while we're here upgrade all of these things to stack inserters I think I had yeah I have a lot of stack inserters um one two three four five six but none of these are particularly large numbers are they so I can like come in here and do um, is that wall is that wall all done now? I was a couple of bits of wall short. All of the laser towers are powered, so that's fine. Um, how many are on this bit? Twenty-three. Yeah. So I can actually merge these two in one to lane and these two into one lane. Um, let's actually bring this one this way uh, a bit, because then that'll let us merge this like so, and then, um, it doesn't actually need to be there, does it? It needs to be, it'll go easier if it's on this side, because these two guys and turn up like so, and that is a four belt mix. Sure. Um, do we have? Do you have rail? Do you have signals? You don't have signals. I don't have train stations on me. Why don't I have train stations on me? Did I put the train stations up here? I did. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Um. Do you actually have... you have bots. I will have the bots. Okay, now there's just a lot of stuff to move around. Um, you probably won't need any of these back. Um, you, yeah, you're not going to need those either. Do you, did I have another box over here? And it's got lasers and big poles. Sure. Um, build all the stuff. Thanks. So this is going to be, what am I calling this? Uh, this is going to be the North Wall Light Oil because it's the one that's pumping off. 
but then okay, the other one still has power poles. And this is gonna be I think his Okay, so I've got did I even bring fluid wagons? I think I have fluid wagons back in storage, that's fine. Um I also didn't bring pump jacks, so you know. Pretty pretty normal things. Um, this actually wants to come up to the side, doesn't it? This doesn't want to be here at all. I would rather you bots didn't try to build that, because these guys have got everything they need. Uh, but you can come over here and help me build the rest of these things, because I've got the power poles now. Or you can just be slow, and I'll do it myself. Yeah, you were just you were just slow, and I did it myself. Um, oh yeah, this is the this is the one where I wanted the configuration from these other defensive things. Uh, where this thing, yeah, light oil, and then another of these guys like here. Then we run this down. And yeah, that's going to end up pretty well defended. When I actually connect trains to it. Um, I need the pump jacks, so that's that's pretty nice. Why are these... Okay, so that's like that. Why are these guys... Was that... Was that the case in the train station that I copied it from as well? Was it, did I copy it from this one? No, that one is fine. Okay, okay, sure. Um, and I've done the clever signals thing here, which means that... Some of these guys need power lines. Some of these guys need more landfill. Donk. And also, like, there. A little bit more. Uh, but at this point, we're actually pleasantly close. That's all of that done. And now we need, sorry, port trains. guys need these, which is understandable. Um, how many trains do I think I want? Let's let's give this thing four trains. Seems like a decent idea. And have a stack of fuel each. So where do I want to allocate these trains? I need. I need at least two more to green ships. And then I think one each to the copper stations here. Um, how many is this? 78. I'm wondering if I can do five trains and allocate two to the green ships, but I might. I mean, I've got this one as well, so I don't think I need to. Okay, so. Um, copper, north wall, full cargo that bit is going to be common to both of you and then also to you but this one wants, wants to be going to green ships so now I've got two on green ships uh, this one can go to smelt face copper oh wrong one that one and this one can go to smelt face, not smelt face copper, LDS copper, uh, empty cargo. Uh, full empty, full empty. This all looks like it's pretty well set up. So actually, we secured the area. We've got the other copper mine running. 
it's connected up, the trains are going, we're kicking through research kind of okay, we're short on blue science, because, is that just the rate I'm making it? Some of these aren't running. Do we actually need to be putting more chips in? I think I'm okay with that though. Oh wow, yellow science is backed up. Yellow science is super backed up. Um, in that case, I just need to be making more blue science. Yeah, I just need to be making more blue science. Um, how do I feel about that? Is that a thing I'm happy with? Is that, I mean, because I've expanded this year, it might actually be kind of annoying to do. But otherwise, yeah, I think I think we're in a pretty good place. I think we're going to put, like, another intersection over here to get the trains up here, and then this is going to continue down here, and, it, you know, we'll probably be able to secure that area. But overall, our wall looks like it's pretty good now. And we'll be like completely fine as soon as we fuel the flamethrowers. So yeah, good good stuff. Lots of things got done.